welcome all in this lecture we are going to learn about scalar product so the scalar product can also be abbreviated as dot product the scalar product of the two vector quantity is defined as a product of the magnitude of a vector and b vector and also the cosine of the angle between them so a and the b are the two vector quantity whose scalar product can be evaluated by the help of the product of the magnitude of a vector and b vector and also the cosine of angle between them now let us have a representation of this a vector and b vector so here is the origin here is the a vector and here is b vector now here is an angle that is theta in between a vector and b vector according to the scalar product it is a defined as a product of magnitude of a vector and b vector so a vector dot b vector is equals to magnitude of a vector multiplied with magnitude of b vector multiplied with cosine of angle in between them since the angle is theta therefore the cosine of theta will become cos theta so cos of theta so this is the formula for the evaluation of dot product between two vector quantities now we discussed that the a vector can be given as a vector equals to ax ax cap plus ay ay cap plus az az cap similarly the vector representation for b vector is given as bx ax cap plus by ay cap plus bz az cap now on substituting the values in the above expression we get a vector dot b vector equals to ax ax cap plus ay ay cap plus az az cap multiplied with dot bx bx ax cap plus by ay cap plus bz az cap so here is the dot product between a and b now we have to evaluate it on the basis of the angle that is theta in between that so on multiplying it we get ax bx into ax cap ax cap plus ay by ay cap into ay cap plus az b z into az cap az cap plus ax by into ax cap az cap plus ay bx into ay cap ax cap plus ay bz into ay cap 
az cap plus az bx into az cap ax cap and finally az by into az cap ay cap since these all are the component of a and b along x y and z direction since we know that cos of 0 degree is equals to 1 and cos of 90 degree is equals to 0 only and we also know that x y and z axis have the 90 degree angle in between them and x x or y y or z z x is having 0 degree angle in between them so based on this concept we can solve this expression since here is ax and here is also ax since xx is having 0 degree angle in between them and cosine of 0 degree is nothing but 1 so in place of ax cap into ax cap we can simply write 1 only so the value of a vector into b vector will become ax into bx plus here is ay into ay since y into y having the well angle equals to 0 degree and cosine of 0 is equals to 1 so in place of ay cap and ay cap we can simply write 1 so the remaining part is ay into by similarly here is az into az since z and z is having the 0 degree angle and cosine of 0 is 1 so we will write remaining part that is az into bz here is ax multiplied with az since x and z is having 90 degree angle and cosine of 90 is 0 so this whole term will become 0 so we have to ignore this similarly here also y and x component are there and having the 90 degree angle that's why this whole term will become 0 here also here is the y and z component so this whole term also become 0 here also z and x component that's why this also become 0 and here also a z and a y is there so this also become 0 so the remaining term is a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z so this is the final output after the evaluation of dot product of the two vector quantities now depending on the angle of theta between the two vector that is a vector and b vector these are said to be either parallel or perpendicular or opposite to each other so we will discuss three cases so case number one is when the theta that is the angle between a vector and b vector is 0 so when theta equals to 0 degree then a vector dot b vector is given as mod of a vector multiplied with mod of b vector multiplied with cos theta on putting 
theta equals to 0 degree since theta equals to 0 degree we get that cos 0 degree and the value of cos 0 is equals to 1 only so we get a vector dot b vector equals to a b so when the theta equals to 0 then we can say that a vector and b vector are parallel now let us discuss case number 2 when the theta equals to 90 degree so here a vector dot b vector is given as mod of a vector dot mod of b vector into cos theta since we know that theta equals to 90 degree and cos of 90 degree is nothing but equals to 0 only so a vector dot b vector will become 0 because this cos theta is 0 and 0 will get multiplied with this whole term and become 0 only so we can say that a vector and b vector are perpendicular now let us have a look at the case number 3 in the case number 3 the value of theta will become 180 degree since a vector dot b vector is a vector b vector cos theta and we know that here theta equals to 180 degree and cos of 180 degree is nothing but equals to minus 1 on substituting the value of cos 180 in this expression we get a vector dot b vector equals to minus of a b so from this we can say that both a vector and b vector are opposite to each other so in this way we discussed the basics of a scalar product or the dot product and also the three cases based on the value of angle between the a vector and b vector if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you